during my career, I didn't have someone to to really go to. I still probably don't, you know, have someone that I pick up the phone to after. My dad, obviously, I, I speak to a lot about games, but the reason I would be as stressed as I am at times is because of him. When I speak to him a lot after after games, he'll say sometimes, he'll say the things that I don't want him to say. And that's why I think the way I do sometimes. He was one of the reasons why I got into the game, why I loved the game. But for example, over the last few games, my brother's watched the game in my house and he's been here after the game, been able to talk to him. And it's that's that's the type of stuff that it clears your mind, clears, gets all the stuff off your chest. The game might have even gone well, but like for me, I after a game, I'd lie staring at the ceiling for the night, running things over and over in my head. Um, so when you get the chance to sit down and talk to someone, it definitely helps. Sure, Lancaster's pretty good for that with me as well he he sort of sees that in me he'll meet me today after a game or even after the dressing room or in the dressing room after a game and, and have a bit of a debrief and, and you feel much better for it after it sounds like my my relationship with my dad in, in that case because for a long part of my career I wanted to always get his approval so after a game I would call him up and I would talk about it and you you kind of call him on the off chance that he's going to say oh, I thought you did well but more often than not they because they want to do the best for you, they end up saying, oh, I saw you missed the tackle, I don't think you did this. And it's like, a, it makes things 10 times worse. So I had to find someone specifically to to address these things with because I and I, I actually stopped speaking to him about the game. Even Chloe actually had to take him to one side after one game and said, listen, you've got to stop just hitting him straight off the field with this, this, work on that. Because it was frying my brain. If you put all your emotional eggs in, and this is quite a good lesson for parents, you know, all your kids look at you for parents. They have so much power and they don't realise. And after a game, all you want sometimes is an arm around them, but you know you don't want them to bullshit you. But you also, they can be so cutting. And that's why I've always was like, right, do you know what? I'm going to go and have a debrief with my psychologist. We're going to look at this. I'm going to be objectively, I'm going to go and speak to my coaches and get objective feedback without going straight to him. Because I know exactly what you mean. It can be, it can be pretty hard when, that, when yeah. that happens. We played Wales in the Millennium Stadium. We chose to keep the roof open and it absolutely pissed rain for the for the whole game. But as the game went on, basically every time we conceded a penalty and I had to take a kickoff, the middle of the pitch, because the Millennium Stadium roof, even though it's open, would, would still cover most parts of the pitch. But basically right in the middle of it, where I had to take the kickoff, it was just like a deluge of rain. There was like sodden on the on the middle. I hit two like shocking kickoffs. Like literally the ball just went like splat, didn't bounce, like squirted on the ground, went dead. The Welsh crowd go crazy. Do the same thing straight again. Like there's nothing I could have done. So after I called my dad, obviously disappointed and said, oh, that was a bit of a disaster. And he goes, yeah, it wasn't great. You know, this, that, this, uh, blah, blah. Uh, and just, just, just ask, just pray him, just say something positive. Say something about the good kick I did in the first half of the thing. And he goes, for the kickoffs, why, why didn't you just bring the ball away from the middle of the pitch? And I was like, Dad, I, I, can't, I can't do that. Like, I can't, I can't go into the tunnel and drop the ball in the tunnel and kick it back. Like, I, can't, I have to take it from the middle of the pitch. 